Welcome to the No Spin News, Monday, October 30th, 2023. Stand up for your country. Lots going on today. We'll play you a clip from Friday night's live show on Long Island, which uh, went out pretty well, they tell me. I mean, I was there, but you never know because I'm on stage. Um, we'll also take a hard look at the Hamas Seize Fire crew. Some very interesting things going on there. But we'll open tonight with Vice President Kamala Harris. That is the subject of the Talking Points memo. So last night on 60 Minutes, uh, there was the vice president talking to correspondent Bill Whitaker. So I went, hmm, this is interesting timing. Why would uh, the vice president, who doesn't like to do interviews, um, why would she be out there? I mean, what is she uh, trying to um, accomplish, right? All right. So I'll get to that in a moment. Now, the interview itself, um, 60 Minutes and CBS News had to know that the White House, which supervises uh, the vice president, had an agenda here. There's a reason, all right, why they were giving 60 Minutes Kamala Harris. Um, but that's OK. So if I'm CBS News, I take the vice president if I can get her because she's not around very much. So I know they're using the program. Now, I don't know. I don't think 60 Minutes to make any deal with her. But I remember the Leslie Stahl interview uh, with Donald Trump on 60 Minutes. And Ms. Stahl was tough. And she was wrong in a bunch of stuff that she said to Trump. Um, but it was confrontational from the jump. Not with Whitaker and uh, Kamala. There wasn't an ounce of confrontation. There were some tough questions, but no follow-up on those questions. Okay. Now, you got to understand two things here if you want to understand the story completely. First of all, here is the polling on Kamala Harris. This is real clear politics average. Favorable, 37%. Unfavorable, 54%. That's a disaster for a vice president. Because vice presidents don't do much. All right? They're in the background. Dick Cheney was an exception. But um, usually, but to have 54 percent of the country going, no. So she's trying to rehab Kamala Harris is her image. That's what this is all about. But there's a why behind that. I'll get to that in a moment. So the first soundbite I have for you um, is perhaps the worst part of the Biden administration, the border. We have new stats today, by the way. I'll give you a little bit later on. I mean, this is such a disaster. There's no two sides to the story. The Biden policies have led to death, destruction, bankruptcy, chaos, you name it. Roll the tape. Yeah, that's right. It's con- Congress's fault. That we, we need a new system. We have three years, lady. When Trump left office the last year, there were 400,000 migrants who entered the USA illegally. 400,000. Now it's at least five times that because Biden knocked out Trump's policies. Now, Whitaker should have had that stat right there and said, wait, wait a minute. You're blaming Congress, you you know, root causes, but you've been sitting there, you and the president for three years has gotten worse every month. Why? Why was Donald Trump able to get this down to 400,000 a year, and you have now blown it up into millions and millions and millions. That's what you have to do as a good journalist. You just can't let her blame somebody else because that's what you'll always do. Nothing is Biden and Kamala's fault. Nothing. Have you ever heard Joe Biden um, admit a mistake? Ever? Have you ever heard Donald Trump admit a mistake? No. Presidents don't admit mistakes any. They make them. They don't admit them. And Kamala is just, you know, she basically says they were ready for that question. The Kamala Harris people were ready for it. And the fact that Whitaker didn't have his follow up ready. I, I, I'm so disappointed. Now, he'd been around forever, Whitaker. All right. The second one is the upcoming election. Speak to that. If it's me, I go, with all due respect, and I mean that, I respect the office of the vice presidency. 
by you not speaking to the fact that you're not way ahead of a man you demonize every hour on the hour, Donald Trump, tells me you don't know why. You don't know why the Biden ticket is not doing well. That's what it tells me. Am I wrong? That's what you do with not Kamala Harris solely, but all the people in power. Now, how often do you see that? Think back to when I was on Fox. No politician got a soft ride on the no spin news. And we have fewer guests here because this is more of an analysis program. Um, Nobody gets a soft ride here. Everybody gets challenged. But Whitaker did not do it. Go back to Leslie Stahl. If you you don't remember the interview, Google Leslie Stahl, Donald Trump. And you will see the vast difference. And then if you want to go back even further, Google Steve Croft, Barack Obama. So 60 Minutes has a relationship, what's what they call a relationship, with the White House, with the Biden White House. And they don't want to wreck it by asking hard questions. So therefore, we the people don't get any answers. We didn't get one answer from the Kamala Harris. I sat there with notes and all, and I wrote a message of the day on BillOReilly.com. I hope you read it. And I could be wrong here, and I don't want to be disrespectful. I really don't want to be disrespectful. It's easy to cheap shot Kamala Harris. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. I don't think the woman understands anything. That, I, mean, I don't think she understands the border or the economy or the Middle East. I don't think she knows. Now, Biden, a little more seasoned, but because of his condition where he goes in and out of reality, because I did see him in the last two weeks have some kind of thought process that made sense. So that told me he's not completely over the side. He's got good days and bad days, as Ronald Reagan had, if you read Killing Reagan. Some days he was right on it, and other days he wasn't. Okay. So the last part of this analysis is why now Kamala Harris? Because there is trouble in River City. Potomac River City. The Democratic Party knows Joe Biden might not make it. His poll numbers continue to slip. He has not distinguished himself in the Hamas-Israel situation. He has not. Okay, Americans don't have confidence. The stock market is getting killed. That will translate in 2024 into a weaker economy. You take all that equity out of the corporate system, It's going to come back. The Democrats know it's a 50-50 on Biden. He might not be there. He might have to resign. So they've got to prop up Kamala Harris. And in Whitaker's voiceover, he kept saying, she's involved, she's involved, she's there every day. She's this, she's that. It was no design. That was, had to happen in order for her to be delivered. Now, again, I don't think they made any deal, but there are unsaid deals. Anyway, it's a fascinating exercise. They're trying to prop up Kamala Harris in case she's got to step in, all right, as being, you know, somebody who's there and understands, is involved, and whatever. Yeah, she's involved with the border. She doesn't do anything just like Biden doesn't do anything every single day. They never do anything. They have no solutions. Didn't they start to build a wall a month ago or so? Oh, yeah, we're going to build a little wall now. What happened to that? Oh, it's awful. That's a memo. You have helped support my pillow and their employees in these very tough economic times. Mike Lindell knows that and continues to give back with deals on his most popular products. And now there's great news. The my pillow six pack bath towel sets are back in stock. Their proprietary technology makes them absorbent, yet still provides that soft feel you want in a towel. The set comes with two bath towels, two hand towels, and two washcloths. For a limited time, get this six-pack towel set for only $39.99 when you use the promo code BILL. That's a 50% savings. So please go to MyPillow.com or call 800-869-0298. Use promo code BILL. 
to save 50% on the MyPillow six-pack towel sets. This is just $39.99 for a set. That deal will not last long. Let's go to the mail. Sinclair Short, Aiken, South Carolina. Why does Israel not take out Iran's ports and oil refineries right now? Uh, Because that would start a bigger war. And you'd make Iran a victim. You can't do that unless Iran does something first. Now, I know they've done something by training Hamas and arming Hamas and funding Hamas. I know that. But it's got to be more visible. Bill Forrest, Woodbridge, Virginia. Hamas jihadists believe they have the right to kill anybody, even innocent people and children. What other theology promotes this kind of barbarism? There is, Hamas is not a theology. Now, I know you use the word jihadist holy war. But that's just basically uh, a rationalization for terrorists to do what you said they did, Bill. It's kill children. It's not a theology. It's not a religion. It's a movement. Leslie Habernick, Dallas, Texas. You said in a broadcast, uh, the Biden administration still maintains the program that you described in Killing the Killers. That's right. If so, why haven't we heard about the retaliation for numerous attacks on American bases? Because they're top secret. You're not going to hear it. There's no reporters in the area. In Africa in particular, uh, American special forces engage a lot. But you're not going to hear it. Because the government doesn't want people to know where our forces are and what they're doing. But again, that's what Killing the Killers tells you. Bonnie, we are doomed civilization already past the point of no return. When half the country despises the other half and considers their political opponents the greatest threat to the country, there is no coming back. Cycles, Bonnie, historical cycles. Okay, so we could come together. I think critical mass is approaching. I think the progressive far left is going to take a big hit. But 24 is a key election in our nation's history, no doubt about it. Joe, concierge member, Joe gets access to me. And I want to just mention some of you concierge members, uh, you all have a special email address. Some are using the one for everybody. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Bill at BillOReilly.com. That's not the concierge address. you got to use the concierge address if you want me to give you the personal advice you seek. Because I can't do it on this band. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Does that make sense to you? We give you the, not secret, but the uh, concierge address so you can get right through to us quickly. Joe, your comments on the mass shooting. Nothing has changed since the Second Amendment was written. In fact, that individuals and their loved ones are at risk of becoming victims of violent crime more than they were in 1776. Unless you have your own protective services, you are the only person that can protect yourself. And that is why the Second Amendment exists. But there are areas that have to be regulated. And the courts, the Supreme Court as well, have designated that. But they can't ban guns or ban the sale or ban ammunition. They can't do anything like that. Al, right and wrong. What a novel concept. Tell that to the youth of today. Oh, wait, you'll need to text them instead. Absolutely, that's what it is. Right and wrong is dissolving in America. That's bad. And I'm going to show you in a minute on the live show. That was the theme. Stuart Johnson, Rockport, Maine. Beautiful town. Bill, there are two groups on welfare, the cannots and the will nots. I'm willing to support the cannots. Absolutely right. There are millions of Americans who want a handout and they're not going to work. They're going to be addicts or whatever. And that and they shouldn't get it. Susan Kramer, Loveland, Ohio. I almost could not finish killing the witches. Uh Oh, Susan. Uh Oh, but thanks for the scare. I really enjoyed reading about the life of Benjamin Franklin. So much history I didn't know. Halloween tomorrow. Killing the witches tonight. Okay. It is the best Halloween book. Edgar Allan Poe is jealous. Killing the witches. Still going strong after five weeks in the marketplace. Big, big hit. We thank you all who have supported the book. Jay Smart, Colorado Springs. Just finished Killing the Witches. Wow, thanks for all the killing books. I'm saving them for my grandchildren to read. Maybe one of the only ways to teach them history. Now, if you get all 13, you go from the Mayflower all the way through to modern times. 
I've accomplished what I want to accomplish. Stephen, I wish I had a way to post that non-members to BillOReilly.com could see. There are a lot of benefits. I saved $150 a month on insurance through PolicyGenius.com. Way to go. PolicyGenius.com. On Bill's advice in the Smart Like segment, I went to the unclaimed money and got 100 bucks. We're looking out for you. There's no doubt about it. Chris Alonzo, Edison, New Jersey. I was at the live show Friday. You were witty and funny, O'Reilly. Topics brought me back to my upbringing. Very similar. And that's why we did it. Pamela Bryant, Port Washington, New York. I intended the live show. Just want to say thank you for letting me figure out my thoughts about right and wrong. And there are many other people who feel the way I do. And they were all there in Huntington. Okay, that clip coming up. Okay, I'd like you to visit. On Wednesday, we're going to have our Christmas store official opening. And we're going to have really good, we'll save you a lot of money on gifts. Uh, and a lot of specials that we've never had before. So you're going to like them. Uh, so go in there now. Um, Paul Manis is done. But Killing the Witches and Apollo of Your Choice and a three-month BillOReilly.com premium membership gift card. It's only $59.95. You can start it off right now. Word of the day, do not be super supercilious. Super, S-U-P-E-R, C-I-L-I-O-U-S. I use that word a lot, running to us. All right, back with the live clip in a moment. Debt. You go to bed and wake up thinking about it. Here is the truth. The system traps you in debt. High interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay it off. And insane inflation keeps you stuck paycheck to paycheck. Done with debt is your lifeline. Done with debt has a new strategy to help you erase debt faster and easier than you thought. It analyzes all the debt options you qualify for. They know how to reduce bills and cut interest rates. Their skilled staff of negotiators know how to get your debt out of your life without bankruptcy and without a loan. Done with debt are the experts in brilliant strategies for eliminating debt. Here's how easy they make it. Go to donewithdebt.com. That's donewithdebt.com. So, okay, here it is. Friday night, packed house, Huntington, Long Island. Uh, Sid Rosenberg, WABC, and myself delivered a live program. And the theme was right and wrong. We're not teaching that to the urchins now. It's disappearing. This is why you're seeing this insane Hamas stuff. Right and wrong in America. Oh, we don't want judgments. Oh, no, 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 no. But we did it in a humorous way. I'd leak. But folks were laughing. I heard them. Roll the tape. Now, I am a guy who thinks about values. And that's what this show in New York State of Mind is essentially all about. It's about values. So our values back then were there's a right and there's a wrong, all right? And you do what's right, or we lock you in your room for 18 months. <laughs> and, you know, that was it. That, it wasn't a lot of complexity. So I can just imagine my father alive now, and I <clears throat> would come in and say, Dad, I, like, I want to have a conversation with you. Is that all right? And maybe he would and maybe he wouldn't. It depends if Ed Sullivan was on or, or what, you know? So I go, Let's talk about our white privilege. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine? Would you please pass the fit sticks and we'll talk about white privilege. It was stunning. And then the other conversation would be, when I was about 16, I'd go in and go, you know, Dad, I'm thinking about going trans. <laughs> Somehow, I can't even imagine. Can you imagine those conversations with your parents? All right, so I took you from back then all the way up to now through that show. Now we're going to have, putting it together now, some mechanism where but you'll, buy, you'll see some of that. Um, I'm not, we haven't quite figured it out yet, what we're going to do with it, but 
It was a really good show. I want to thank the Doyle brothers at uh, Huntington and the theater and everybody who showed up. Thank you very much for supporting the live show. It was a lot of fun to do. It's different than the Miller shows that we used to do. A lot more personal and uh, we may do a few more of them. Yeah, I hope so. And uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, listening on our 300 radio stations to the No Spin News. Tomorrow Halloween, we'll have some interesting things on this program. And we'll see you then. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.